All right, and welcome back to the fifth uh, video of our uh, five installments um, for Chapter 10, dealing with uh, imports, XMLs, and some power add-ons, add-ins. Uh, this particular video, we're going to look at some of the power add-ins. I want to cover uh, uh, Power BI and Power Pivot uh, with it as it's used in Excel. So Power BI, or Power Business Intelligence, is an online application suite that's designed to help users try to pull in data, um, visualize it, analyze it, uh, do a lot of different things with it that they wouldn't otherwise uh, have the tools to do. And one of the other, uh, one of the add-ins that allows you to do that is Power Pivot. Uh, that's an add-in within Excel that just uh, adds some additional functionality to, to create pivot tables from external data sources, internal data sources, um, flat files, uh, and just kind of amalgamate that information. Um, so that you can uh, you can slice and dice information and kind of create some some uh, some neat reports. We're going to look at uh, how to load in Power Pivot, uh, how to import data within Power Pivot, creating and managing relationships of that that imported data, uh, and then we're also going to look at creating pivot tables and also in and importing data using Power Query that uh, is able to go out and, and use uh, external uh, connections and pull information. And then from there, you'll be able to visualize some of the data with your Power BI. That's going to be important uh, for you in your, in your assignment uh, on hand exercises. So let's go over to our Excel worksheet. And what we need to do first is we need to go ahead and, and load these add ins. So you go to Options, and it's got a two part, uh, two part step to, to go ahead and load these add ins. So you go to click on add-ins from the Excel options, and you go down here to manage, and you want to click uh, com add-ins. Click go. And you want to make sure that you have the power pivot and power view for Excel. Uh, and I've already loaded these, but I'm going to go through the steps anyway. So these com add-ins, you make sure that they're checked. You click OK. It may take a minute for them to load it in there. So that's step one on actually loading that in there. The second step is you want to load, go back into options and click on Quick Access Toolbar. Uh, and from there what you want to do is you want to make sure that this Insert a Power View Report is added into your uh, your Quick Access Toolbar. And that uh, it appears over here underneath your um, underneath your, your, your tab uh, options here. Uh, so again you just want to make sure that that, uh, that Power View you select Power View tab, and then you'll have Insert a Power View Report. You want to make sure that that's added on there. I've already got it added in there. And click OK. And now you've loaded uh, the Power Pivot and Power Power View uh, add-ins, made them accessible. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import some data uh, using uh, uh, using the Power Pivot functionality. And from there, you go to the uh, Power Pivot tab. You're going to click on Manage, and it's going to open up a window asking you, um, give you another another dialog, and it looks very similar to Microsoft Excel. You want to click from Database, click from Access, click Browse, and we're going to select our sales.accpd. No username and password is required for this, however, if you're connecting to an external database or a database already saved on there that does have a username and password, make sure you put in the username and password. Click Test Connection to make sure that you connect. You're going to click Next. It's going to give you the option to select from a list of tables and views to choose to import the data. You're going to leave that selected, and then it's going to provide a list of the available tables. In this particular database, we only have two. We're going to click Finish. And it tells us that it's successfully inserted three and nine rows respectively. Click close. And you'll notice this power pivot has the ability, uh, provides us with the data in there. So we've got our free sales staff personnel and we've got a snapshot of some transactions that they've completed with a description of what those transactions are. Now from here, you click on pivot table. Click on pivot table. And again, it gives you the ability to, from this data set that we've imported in here, to create a pivot table. You can use a new worksheet, you can use the existing worksheet. I'm going to use the existing worksheet. And it's going to create a placeholder here uh, for our uh, pivot table creation. 
you'll notice over here in the pivot table pivot table fields we have our two tables and their respective information that they have so we have our sales staff table and we have our transactions okay and from there you can go ahead and build your pivot table so you can have the information in here specific to the data that you're wanting to go ahead and include. You put you formulate. Uh, you create your pivot table however you want to. Um, you can add columns. You can add filters in here based on the the, uh, the data and the information. And from there, you can kind of slice and dice your information. If you go back a few chapters where we started working with pivot table. Um, again, you can you know apply those concepts and those things that we've built on uh, into creating a pivot table. So from there is how there's how you create a pivot table using Power Pivot, pulling information from an external source uh, and structure it however you need to. The next step that we're going to look at and work with is called Power View, and we're going to need to pull information um, in this particular. Uh, assignment that you're going to be working on there is a, a requirement to go out and pull data from an external source and that is that dot com so from here in order to do that what you need to do in the data tab you click new query okay come down here to other sources and select from web and you'll have a dialog box that opens up it'll kind of, it'll ask you for the the URL that you're wanting to pull data from, you type in nasdaq.com, you click OK, and it's going to go out there and it's going to connect and do its, do its thing, pull in the information. You'll notice it is working, it's displaying, uh, you get ready to display the options here, and after uh, a couple minutes, it's going to give you some tables here. You can kind of click through and see what information that actually pulls from that website. Based on your assignment, you're going to want to load table zero. So you will select table zero. If you were required to select multiple ones, you can you could check the checkbox that says select multiple item. But in this case, table zero is all we're going to need. Click load. And it's processing the query. It's going to go ahead and in another worksheet. It loads this information that is requested. From there, it creates an Excel table. You can go in here, search, and filter. So these are the steps that you're going to need to follow in order to complete your, your assignment for, uh, for Chapter 10. Um, it's going to ask you to combine this information from Power Query in addition to, uh, I believe, a transaction database and also another worksheet that you've been working on. So you're going to be working with some internal and external data, kind of shaping and forming that information. Uh, as required for your assignment. So this should uh, help you with working through step-by-step -step, uh, on-hand exercises uh, one through three. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, email me at ryan.free at ppcc.edu.